previously on Survivor Chicago. How's my daughter? Um, sorry, but the bullet hit her spine. And they said that she'll be paralyzed from the waist down. Did you know she was paralyzed? Nope. From the waist down. You stop it! She's paralyzed! Y'all gonna head on up out of here, man. If you're gonna stay with me, you know you gotta get a job, right? You must be new or something. I'm, 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 yeah, I am new. Yeah, I'm new and I'm leaving. I'm sick of this shit, man. Leave, man. You gonna fuck with us? You either gonna be in the streets or you gonna be on business. Can't do both. Hey, you know this nigga? Yeah, that's my boy Greg. Let him on in. Yeah, you good, Rico? Oh, you got security now, folks? Hell yeah, you know how I'll do it. I told you I was falling back from the street shit, folks, but... Hang on that, folks. A lot of shit been going on, folks. It's tight right now. Oh, I ain't tell you. I got a new plug. You got a new plug? Hell yeah. Where the fuck you from? Man, you know, I just met a nigga somewhere, man, you know. That's that bitch-ass nigga that be killing us up. Oh, Rico, Rico, mama, man. Pops. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna need to come down here. Damn. So, this what you call me over here for, bro? Do I look like I'm fucking smiling, nigga? The streets, you know, I ain't a street nigga, but the streets talk to me, you feel me? So the streets I already told me. He, he killed Ra Ra. Then he killed my homie Shaky. Who's? Say that again? He killed my homie Shaky. He was getting nigga with the dread. Yeah, he was out listening in the car. He came back to him in the alley, popped him, for real. You know, I, you gotta be careful around him. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You thought I was gonna get up with your bitch ass boy? Huh? Look good, shut my fucking mama, nigga. What he has to do with it either or, nigga, he dead. He shot my fucking girlfriend trying to kill me, nigga, you with him? You with him, nigga? Huh? Nah, I ain't with him, man. Damn. Damn, bro, what's my just got done cracking this thick ass bitch? That's here. Bono Curry. Alright, this is location, bro. Come on, bro. Make sure you got one here? Yeah, I'm straight. Let's do it. Alright, bet. Yeah, I already know. Hey, look. This nigga 
Yeah, sent us off, man. Look at us not even fucking up, man. I'm gonna call Twan right now. Hey Twan, that nigga look cuz ain't here, man. Make that bitch ass nigga talk, or we gonna pull up to his crib. He must forget we still got his fucking ID. Alright, make sure that nigga don't go nowhere, man. Feed him some bread or something. Alright. What you say, man? Alright, say don't keep, don't, don't keep watching them look. We gotta split up because they gonna be looking for two niggas with all black on, so. Shh, honey, look, we need to meet up with that plug so we can get this ball rolling to get this money, gang. Right, love. love, my nigga. Be smooth. I'm really trying to get you on this shit, bro. Like, we can really take off on this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really ain't gonna focus on this rap shit no more, man. For what, bro? You wrong to say you the reason I'm doing this shit, man? Nah, bro. Like, this shit, this rap shit come with a lot of shit, bro. And this shit hot as hell. Like, the police listen to my music and shit. I feel like they hold this shit as evidence of, like, an investigation to use against me, bro. I don't feel comfortable dropping music no more, man. I feel you, bro. But it's really because you keep rapping about that bitch ass nigga Tevin. Like, what the fuck you keep rapping about him for? Ain't folks locked up? Fuck, he ain't got no motion. Folks ain't got no motion. What you rapping about him for? I mean, I, I understand he locked up and shit, bro. It's really just to tell the real my story. Like, a lot of motherfuckers probably been through situations like that, bro. It ain't even about that no more, bro. It's like, I can, I can change, like, my, like, my story around, but, like, that shit come with a lot of shit, bro. At the end of it, you gotta spend a lot of money, studio time, video shoots. It's just, it's just too much, bro. I feel you, bro. Like you got a lot on your plate. Yeah. No pops find out you got fired though, right? What? I ain't kidding you, boy. How the fuck he find out? Nigga, the people who hooked you up with the job called him when you got fired, nigga. I didn't get fired, really. I quit, but I ain't gonna I don't give a fuck about that job, bro. I don't like that motherfucker working in a motherfucking fast food restaurant, bro. For real. What you was even working up for? Cause Pops told me if I'm gonna move here, I gotta get a job. Oh, bro, what is you even here for? What, why, why is you living with him for? The reason I'm staying here is because where I was at, it was my girl crib and it was in her name and she left and I had to move mm -hmm. out cause the landlord said it wanted my name and all this other shit. And then Daddy said I could stay here. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm here. You see why I'm at? I got five ways I can from his ass, bro. You know how Pops be for. Yeah, Pops do be tweaking, bro. Shit, Greg. Greg, what I tell you about the fucking garbage can this morning before I left for work? Oh my god, my bad, pops. It slipped my mind. I'm gonna take care of it. I promise. Why that shit slip in your mind? Cause it's I'm easily to get distracted. I'm sorry. You know I got short term memory pops. I got it. Well, why, 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 why he closet gonna do it? He man. He just visited. He don't live here. <sighs> Greg, the agreement was if you gonna live here, you was gonna have to take out the guy. You gonna do your chores, and you had to get a fucking job. And then, and first of all, what about the job I got you, man? Why did you quit the job? They told you I quit, huh? Wow, I was talking about my business. I, I don't want to fast food restaurant, pop. Man, you don't know the screens I had to pull to get you this fucking job, Greg? I understand, Pop. I understand, but we can find something else. That's not the only job in the world. Money is money. It don't matter about it if it's a fast food restaurant or not. That shit not gonna give me no money for real, man. I need to get my own shit so I don't want to stay here no more. Greg, if you gonna stay here, you have to get your shit together. You gonna right. have to get your shit together if you gonna stay here. And take out the fucking garbage. All right, man. Bro, what I just say? I just finished what I just said. Damn. Fuck the no more. Sweet. Son of a bitch, huh? Huh? Yeah, I got something to do with my cousin. Shake and get killed, bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about. Get out of here. You mean get off me, bitch? <laughs>
in here. Man, what the fuck, man? That's your boy, man. What the fuck? Man, man. Oh, damn. When we go ahead and look at us, we realize I did tell a nigga feed the nigga some bread or something, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, that's my fault, man. Shit, man. Fuck, fuck. What do you do that for? Oh. Nigga, we got his whole fucking ID. Oh, no. Come on, bro. So he can run, but he can't hide. We need to pull that motherfucker right now, bro. Oh, we gone, bro. Fuck! Oh my god, when I catch that nigga my club, I catch that nigga Greg. It's over my house with the car. Oh! Got my ID, bro. Get the fuck out of here. this man you been going to my room it ain't your fucking room and I know you ain't selling weed in my fucking house man come on really now you gonna jumping off the wall again thinking somebody selling drugs when they ain't I'm just smoking it damn so you just smoking it yeah I'm just smoking it but why you got a fucking scale what's going on None of that, mama. He always over exaggerating as usual. How's I'm over exaggerating and he got weed in a fucking scale? He ain't on that price. He ain't on that shit. Chill. Just because I got a scale don't mean I'm selling no fucking weed? What the fuck? Greg. I got time for this shit, no I want you out of my fucking house. I can't deal with this shit. When you quit your fucking job, you don't never do no fucking chores, and you selling fucking drugs, get the fuck out, Greg. It's not that I don't want to stay there no more if you're going to be on my fucking back every time. I don't even want you here no more, Greg. You think I want to be deal with this shit? You do what you really do? I didn't know my mama already with this shit. Why do you think I left up real? Because of the same shit that you trying to 
Teach me what to say now. I'm out of here, man. I'll come back later to get the rest of my shit. Babe, what the hell was that? Why would you kick him out like that? That is your son. I understand, baby, but it's just, you know, it's just problem after problem, baby. You just. That's why you sit down and teach him. You talk to him. You don't just judge him. You kicking him out on the streets. What he supposed to do? Now he gonna go down the same road you went down that you don't want him to go down. So what sense did that make? I'm just saying, I mean, he just, he's trying to quit his job. I mean, I went through a lot to get in this job. If him just walk away and do this, I mean, I just can't, I can't deal with it anymore. Well, you're gonna have to find some way to deal with it because that's your son at the end of the day. I love him, but I just feel like, I just feel like he's going down the same path as me. I don't know what else you want me to say. You just kicked him out on the streets. What path you think he's going to go down? I'm a great grown man. He's going to have to find his own way. I, I, I agree. Look, bro. What? Man, my people out here, man, that's real good money, motherfucker. Gotta do this shit right. Don't say nothing stupid, bro. Bro, why you talking to me like I'm a new nigga or something? Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, bro. I'm not, let's go, bro. I'm straight. Let's get it, man. Chino, what's up, my boy? Hey, what's up, buddy, man? Chillin', chillin'. You want a shot? Now you know I'm drunk, man. Got the ready, yeah, bro. Got that money I owe you, too, man. Let me check it out. What's up, bro? What's up, Gregor, bro? Who's this, bro? Gregor. 15 year nigga. What's over here? What's up with your boy? Man, you come over here, tell him that money out first, we're gonna chop it up. I see. Money's good. Your boy's good as his money or what? Yeah, he's good, man. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to get back in the game and shit. You know yeah, what bro. Saying? You know, I'm, I ain't no amateur, bro. I see y'all getting money. You know, this is my boy. I've known him over 15 years. You know, I'm trying to get down and chop What you trying to do or what? You know what I'm saying? You get down or what? Man, I, I, I get down. I, I ain't looking for too much, man. I ain't looking for no handouts or nothing. I can, I, like, I can prove to you that I can, I can, I can handle some work. So all I'm looking for is like at least one brick. You can flip it. Yeah. yeah you can flip it. Let's talk business, man. Go to the office, man. Let's right. go. Let's talk business. Nice place here, Chino. I appreciate it, bro. So we get down out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We do big things. Yeah, man. You know what? Here you go, man. Flip that. How many bricks is these? Three. What? Three? A little couple of days to get rid of it. What's the name of this shit? Uh, it's pure, bro. It's fish scale. Call it Scamale Pescalo, bro. I mean, it's one of the purest out here in the city, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, know. I appreciate the opportunity, bro. But I only came for one brick. I don't, I don't need three. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give me one and I'm be cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Watch for him, bro. Either he gets down or he don't. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? You rejecting my friendship? This is like me telling you we friends now. You in? No, 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 no,
Oh, they yeah. fixing on that garage. Yeah, man, come on, man. Don't see yourself. I ain't got time for that, man. For real. I'll taste it for you, though. Is that up? Come on, man. We 100 with me. Yeah, it's not enough. All right, man. You can keep that, man. I just need to know if it was thing. Damn, it's for me. Yeah. Man, you know I love you, man. You know I do. I do anything for you. Do anything. Let me know, motherfucker. Do something for you. I come. I come. I do something for. I do something to him. All right, good looking, Hank. I'm All right, man. All right, man. Let me get up out of here. All right. Damn. That's I just got this new plug, bro. He just gave me so many bricks. I can't even handle that shit, bro. Damn, it's real. Look, it's real. Oh. Damn, shorty. I need a pause. So my mom, you already know I get rid of shit. Look, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't do this shit with myself anyways. That's why I called you, bro. I, I need you to you. get this shit up, bro. I got you, shorty. Do not mama, fuck my man. shit up, bro. For real. I need you to handle this shit. Come on, man. You real, know I ain't gang. that type of nigga no more, man. Yo, little squirrel looking ass, man. I got you. Come on, baby, man. Yeah, look, man. Take care of this man, shit, bro. this shit, man. Yeah. All right, gang. Appreciate All right. it. I figured since I was moving up, it was time to move on, start meeting new people, and start doing new things. It's time for a change. Hey. Oh, oh shit! You scared the shit out of me. I ain't trying to scare you. What you waiting for me to get off work or something? <laughs> I might have. Crazy. I just wanted to thank you again for that drink that you gave me. Did it help? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate it. Ain't nobody never did that for me before. Really? Yeah. It seemed like you need something new in your life. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So, and I forgot to get your number while I was there. That's what really fucked me. I'm like, yeah, I gotta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, number. Yeah. Where you found it? Oh, damn. My bad. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. I'm about to walk into your car. You know, it's dangerous. I know, you know, you gotta break the man's. Yo, you know? What you ain't got going on, I know, bitch, you finna make me kill your ass for real. 
Boy, you acting broke as hell, boy. Oh, get your head up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. Fuck that shit, bro. Come on, we out there, we out there. Fuck that shit. No, I ain't good. This bitch asked me to owe me my motherfucking money. I want my shit today. Not tomorrow, not next week. I need my shit right now. Bitch ass, broke ass, nigga. Hey, no, that's we are. We are. Why is you touching me? Because, bro, that's one of the guys, bro. I don't give no fuck about none of that. He owe me money. Oh, you feisty, ain't you? What's your name? None of your business. I like how that's the right answer. I'm funny. For real, what you do though? It seems like you y'all got some type of shit going on. You gotta you gotta do something for them. Oh, you some money. You, it, I just feel like you all in my business. I serve pills. You sell pills? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Why? You, yeah. Yeah. All right, look. How, what if I told you that you ain't gotta sell pills no more? I don't know. I don't know if I like how that's saying. No, I'm saying like, what if I paid you to pick up? And drop off money and like counting and shit. Like, you would be cool with that? That's all you gotta do. But we don't need oh, that shit. hot shit going on over there. Hell yeah. I got that shit. Like that? Hell yeah. All right. Bye. Let's talk about it. And just like that, I was back in the game. It's easy for a motherfucker to do bad. But it's hard for a motherfucker to do good. I couldn't work no regular nine to five job because I love the fast money. We had the streets on lock and the clubs. We had out west, out south. Over east and north. We had this shit in the headlock. All right, y'all. It's time to chop shit up. Folks, now we've been getting a lot of shit off, though. This shit been moving. And the guys, this for you, gang. And bro, with a little extra, bro. Just to show my appreciation and shit. For so introducing me to that plug and shit. Appreciate you, my boy. We got the city on lock and this shit. With KK. Okay, okay. Oh, here you go. Why did you get more money than me? Why did you get more money than you? KK, okay, okay, don't do that. You know, I gotta play this plug, and we gotta get the rest of this shit off. So you gonna get some more money. For real. What, what was going through your head like when you got shot? Well, my mama got shot 17 times. I didn't think she was going to make it. So when I got shot, I knew I was shot more than once because it was blood coming from different areas of my body. I got shot in my leg, my left leg, all the way up to my to my buttocks. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the end of me because I was losing consciousness. I was losing a lot of blood. I was dizzy. You know, everybody was panicking and everything, you know. So I didn't think I was going to be here today even to tell her the story, to be honest. I ain't going to lie to you. Man, that's... it's, it's it's, it hits so close to home when you are writing about something and making content about something and then it's like
part of that story is actually the life that you're living. Uh, Greg, he snapped. You know, he did the reawakening shit in the past, and that was up under somebody else's umbrella. But to see him like go and do his own shit, being his own writer and director of what he want to do, that shit. It's a YouTube series based on like my mama getting shot 17 times and like me growing up in Chicago okay. and getting arrested and just, you know, to, like shit like, you know, the real struggle. You doing your thing on YouTube lately? But to survive in the Chicago act, you know what I mean? I'm from them. Um, very creative, very cinematic. A real talented dude. If you see right here, this is when I went to his block, his neighborhood, where he get a lot of love from. And I chopped it up with him, just about everything that he accomplished, shit that I didn't even know about, and things that he had planned for the future. I ain't gonna hold you, man. This nigga look like the real street nigga, man. No. After my mother got shot and I put that in my music, people, you know, had no other choice but to take me serious because how could I lie about that? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it, they started taking my music serious after my mother got shot, but before then, it was hard. How, how many times was your mother shot? 17 times. Are you serious? Yep. Did and she make it? Yeah, she made it and she still, like, if you see her, she like she ain't even been shot 17 times. Man, let me tell you something. They say when it's your time, it's your time, and when it ain't, it ain't, bro. Sure. That's, that's, that's a story right there, man. Greg got me dead in the building. It's Zach Boog Radio, Chicago Spotlight, GCI. What you own? Whole lot of high shit, ayy. Or oh, what you own? Whole lot of high shit. <sighs> Below the go. CBMG. Hey, this is my last song about this bitch ass nigga. Cause he in the county getting fucked right now. <laughs> I'm phone him, I'ma leave this shit in the streets. Go, go. Free Tevin, nigga. Uh, so we can smoke him, nigga. Nigga shot my mama, then his daddy end up dying. Damn. Damn, how that happen? I don't know, you know I'm lying. I knocked the fucking wrinkles out his ass with that ass. Get into that Bro in jail He need a bail I ask him hey, why 